Also on the campaign trail, then candidate Donald Trump visited Detroit in an effort to reach out African American voters, switching gears. Visiting with business and church leaders, his trip was not without controversy. You may remember this back in September. Protesters who felt the candidate was racist greeted the candidate at some of his stops and obviously disrupted his visits. But Bishop Wayne Jackson of Great Faith Ministries International welcomed then candidate Trump into his congregation as well as the Impact Network. He owns it. It's the world's largest African American owned and operated Christian TV network, which the now president appeared on. I had a chance to speak with him about the very memorable encounter. Bishop, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. I appreciate it. The president was here. If I'm not mistaken, he was here in September. Um, he spoke to a, a packed crowd behind us. What was the reception like um, when he was here and then also after, after he left? Well, um, September the 3rd, uh, he was candidate Trump at that time. Um, he, he came to be interviewed by myself. Uh, I have uh, a network called Impact Television Network, and the president came to be interviewed uh, by myself, and after that he came into the, uh, the church to, um, to enjoy our worship service. Uh, oh, it was, it was, the reception was good. I was very uh, uh, surprised how people uh, of color uh, welcome him because when you, really when you sit down with the president uh, at that time candidate uh, uh, Trump um, when you meet him on one-on-one -on -one, uh, it's a it's a very different uh, persona than, that you see um, contrary to, to television and it's still early in his presidency obviously but there were promises if I'm not mistaken when we heard him speak um, and requests from from the from your community as well do you feel like that 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 bridge is coming together, those needs are being met, or is it just still too early in the game? Well, I believe that, you know, we just passed 100 days, and, you know, a lot of things are going on in Washington, and I think that we need to give him a break and give him a chance to do what he says he's going to do. Now, uh, certainly the community is waiting. I'm waiting, and a lot of us are waiting to see uh, what's going to happen uh, in Detroit, because there's been a lot of promises. Even in the inaugural speech, he mentioned Detroit, and he stood in front of this congregation, and he also made promises that he wants to do uh, something in, in the urban uh, community. Uh, when we look at this uh, situation in the urban community, we are, we are faced with so many things. We are faced with, with, with uh, lack of jobs, unemployment. That's what our prayer is. We are, our prayer is that the money can come from Democrats, Republicans, but we want it done. We want we want safe streets. You had a big a big event in January, if you will, <laughs> when you spoke at the inauguration. What was that like for you? I can't I can't leave without asking you that. Well, it was intimidating. It was. It was. But you did great. Well, you had the yeah, thank you. <laughs> well, you had the former president uh, Barack Obama. You had Biden. You had Bush. You had Cheney, and you had Clinton. Uh, it was so many different former presidents. Then you had uh, the, the, Supreme, the Supreme Court justices. I mean, it was just so many people. All the lawmakers were up there in the whole world watching you. And so um, it was intimidating, but you know, God <laughs> brought me to it. And it was a a moment in history, that's for sure. Yes, yes. Bishop, thank you so much for having us here. We appreciate it. We, we love being here in the city. Thank you, thank you, thank you.